So as the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed, I've managed to get the palm trees in the sunrise ident screen to sway. I'm just going to do a little tutorial that shows you how I did that. So let's jump into Fusion and we'll have a look. Okay, so here we are in Fusion, and here we can see the node tree that makes up the swaying palms. Ordinarily I'd sort of build this with you, but just to save a bit of time, I've got it laid out and we'll run through it and see what each node does. So we start off on the left hand end, we've got our PNG image. I've just brought that in with a loader node. Um, the image is then piped into this image plane 3D which puts our palm trees into 3D space on an image plane. What that allows us to do is manipulate the image plane and thus give the impression that the palms are swaying. We manipulate the image plane using these two nodes here which are bender nodes. Now the bender node isn't available on your hotbar so you'll need to do your shift spacebar, get your search tool and type in Bender and you're looking for Bender 3D. As I say we've got two of those at the minute. The main Bender basically animates the trunks and the leaves. The leaf Bender just animates the top half of the screen. Both Benders are then fed back into a Merge 3D node into a render 3D node and then out to a transform node. The transform node's there just to allow for resizing and things. Okay, the heart of the matter are the two bender nodes. So I'm going to select the main bender and we're going to have a look in the inspector. So the way you set your bender node up, bender type is bend, Y is the axis, your angle is set to 90 degrees and your center is set to zero. The center is set to zero so that our pivot point is down at the bottom of the image. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back to the beginning to the first keyframe. And as you can see in the amount at the minute we've got 0 0.02. The amount is what does the work, basically, so we can slide the amount and it moves our image. We obviously don't want it moving that much. What you also notice is if we move it violently, our island moves as well. If you need that much movement, then what you can do is if you come down to this range slider and bring the minimum range up to about 0.25, that lets you move your palm trees but keeps the island static because your pivot point is now moved up above the bottom of the island. So I'll drop that back down to point 0.1 where it was. I'll bring this back down to point 0.02 where it was. The animation is basically three keyframes, one at the start, one in the middle and one at the end. The two end keyframes I've set to 0 0.02 and the middle one minus 0 0.02 so your trees basically sway between those two points. Our leaf bend is basically set up the same so again bender type is bend, axis is y, angle is 90 and center is 0. The main difference is our range I've got the range set to 0.5, so now the bender is only affecting the top half of the screen. My keyframes are slightly different, and again you'll need to experiment with these to get the best effect. And what that does is as the animation plays through, you'll see that our leaves overlap slightly and give the impression that the leaves are moving as well as the trunks.
And that, as they say, is all there is to it. Now, you can either set this up directly in the sunrise composition that we had in the tutorial. Um, I'll link a card to the tutorial just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Or if you'd rather, you can take these nodes. If you want to set it up in a separate composition, you'd take these nodes, you'd select them all, Command and G to group them. Now you can right click, copy this group. If you then go into your Sunrise Desert Island comp, you would disconnect the image that you originally had in there and you just pipe this group in where the image was and use the transform node to scale it appropriately. And then you'll have swaying palm trees. So I hope you find this useful, hope it makes sense. If not, look me up on Discord, I hang out there a lot, you'll find me easy enough. Um, yeah, please feel free, free to subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers!